Todd here. Today I'm riding in on my Vespa. Beautiful weather out there, out here, I should say, and a great day for it. But anyway, today I want to talk about tilt shift lenses, how I use them, how I've used them in the past, which one I think is the best. I do have a favorite. I have four of them, I think. Uh, no, I can't remember, but I think I've got four. But anyway, I do have a favorite. We're gonna talk about that, which one I think works best for stills and video to use it the incorrect way, plus using it for architecture and product and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, cruising on the Vespa. Now I need to get to the studio. All right, made it back into the studio, and I was right, I do have four of these tilt shift lenses. I've got the 17, the 24, the 45, and the 90. And those first shots of the video um, was all done with the 45 tilt shift, which is my second favorite lens in the tilt shift uh, lens category here. And it's primarily an architectural lens or a product shooting lens where you can shift focus for, if you've got a product in the foreground, product in the background, you shift the front of it so you can, um, get everything in focus in that front line and you can tilt it if you want to do the same thing if you're shooting horizontally shooting vertically whatever you can shift the front down and and uh, you can do that as tilt the front down and then you can um, raise up you can raise down all these little uh, different things you can do with it which gets you back to working with like the Fuji GX 680 which has the same type of features as that a little bit bigger format type of thing. You got your tilt and uh, then you can shift to the side. Same thing as going even bigger with the 4x5, which I probably haven't used this thing in, I want to say, 15, maybe 20 years. I haven't used this thing now since the onset of digital. Um, just haven't used it. I love this camera and shot so much with it, film over the years. Um, I, need to, I need to do, so, I got some, so much film in the fridge, I need to do something with this, do some portrait series or something to get back into shooting with this guy. But anyway, uh, back to the tilt shift, but you've got, you know, with these, you got every kind of function, front, back, tilt, it does everything to get the product in focus back in the day. But the, the main use for these lenses is architecture. And I'll show you some architectural shots right now that I've done. Uh, these were done for uh, hospitals on location um, around the country, and primarily just architectural straightforward stuff. I do a lot of, um, not a lot, I shouldn't say a lot, I do, some interior architectural stuff for my son who's a realtor, which is, he gets a great deal because it's free <laughs> for him. So we do a little bit of video work for that as well. Uh, I don't really ever show that kind of stuff, but I, I do do it for him and for my clients I've had for a long time. Or if a client that we're doing a lifestyle shoot and I need to do some architectural form as well, we do that. And that's the correct way to use these lenses. Um, and that's what they're made for. But my main reason for using them is to use them incorrectly, and that is to tweak the focus on a shot and make it look super depth, less, as minimal depth of field, so I'm throwing things out of focus that would normally be in focus and very pinpointing what I want to be in focus with these lenses. And I've shot a lot of action stuff um, for the NFL, for Nike, for ESPN, X Games. So I, I really have done a lot in the field 
shooting action with these lenses, which is what I love them for. So let's take a look at these images I shot for Nike. And these images were done for the NFL. And this last set of images were done for ESPN at the X Games, both still and video. That was just a small sample of some of the uh, images I've done for my clients and using these uh, tilt shift lenses. My number one favorite tilt shift lens is the 90 by far. It's, it's what I've used on most of those shots you saw. It, it is, just gives me that look, being able to tilt the front of the lens to whichever side I want to create that really spot focus and throw everything else, tweak it all way out. You really need to shoot wide open with these lenses to get that kind of effect. So most of every, well, almost everything you saw there was shot wide open. Again, the second favor would be the 45 uh, to give that effect. If you're gonna shoot architecture stuff, I would recommend getting the 17. It's the most versatile for interior and uh, shoot for exterior as well. I have the 24, I bring it with me for architectural jobs. I don't use it that much, but because the 45 will cover a lot of what the 24 will do, but having all four of them is great just to have in the bag. But I do on almost every project, I would well, I'd say every project that I go on, travel on, I've got my 90 tilt shift with me in the bag. I bring it everywhere. I just love the look and feel that it gives me. You know, you are shooting uh, manual focus, so you don't have no auto focus to help you. So you really gotta concentrate on where you're gonna, where you're gonna focus. And if you're shooting athlete actions like I've done at the X Games and stuff, you really kind of have to figure out where that athlete's gonna end up in the action that you want to see it. So you can kind of pre-focus a little bit or you know, I started my career back when there was no autofocus lenses. So you had to, um, you had to utilize manual focus for everything. It, uh, it's a great lens. They're super sharp, if I already hadn't said that before. I love, love the look and feel. And if you're, you know, a lot of movie productions will shoot with this lens, like a cityscape or a roadway or somebody walking. It almost looks model-like, unreal. It's a really cool look. So that's kind of my feel on these lenses. Again, the 90 tilt shift is my favorite by far. I love the look and feel it gives me. My clients love it too. And if you have any comments, leave it in the comments below. And questions, I'll answer it if I can, if I know. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Until next time, I'm out.